I was tagged by the user Anubis2814 to answer the question of whether or not I ever suffer from compassion fatigue. The basic idea is that after a while of explaining the same talking points over and over to various people that you reach a point where you just start to snap at people for asking the same dumb questions, even if they're asking it more or less honestly and are truly ignorant, but you're just burnt out from all the previous times you've answered the question to other people. And the answer for me is absolutely yes. I personally have taken a indefinite break from answering questions about religion and, and you know the philosophy of re religion and arguments uh, you know for or against the existence of God and that sort of thing in part because I just don't see any particular reason to keep making them. It's not that I've really changed my mind, it's that I don't know how many new people making videos on the subject would actually reach. Back in the day, there were actually adversaries that seemed worth the time to square off against, and that's all part of the sort of YouTube pwnage game, I guess you might put it. And, and now that that sort of died down and, and, and there there's, aren't as many crazies out there making videos to bounce off of, I suppose you might say, I, there's not as much opportunity, reason, or incentive to make that sort of video. But if I may expand beyond the, the parameters in which he framed the question, I want to talk for a moment about a couple of other things that give me burnout, a compassion burnout of being on YouTube and make me wonder why I even bother to keep doing this at all. For one thing is is the the fickleness of the audience. So, for example, if this video was on, say, Bionic Dance versus Awesome Rants or Thunderfoot versus PZ Myers, and maybe this would have been more relevant a week ago, which I guess speaks to, again, to the fickleness of the audience. But if I was talking about that, then I could predict with quite a bit of accuracy, I would almost dare say scientific accuracy, that a video on those topics, one of those topics, would get more views than this video because it's people are just going to be like, compassion fatigue, I don't, I don't care, your, your, your opinion on something that isn't uh, the drama of the moment, uh, boring, not even going to bother to watch, and constantly having to uh, play to the uh, what the audience wants to hear and this sort of um, the news cycle, I guess you could say, the drama cycle would be a better way to put it, of YouTube is just uh, not only is it exhausting, but I actually don't really care that much. Um, I don't see why it's worth investing my time into commenting on things that at the end of the day... I really don't care about it because believe it or not, I do have a life beyond my computer. Uh, although many of my hobbies do involve the computer, but that has more to do with the, the state of technology than it does uh, anything else, really. I would rather be dabbling in music or photography or any number of other things, writing, reading, sitting around twiddling my thumbs than commenting on half of the crap that goes on that, that the, that seems to get the audience uh, interested and so constantly having to to play to the audience and, and what they want to hear and what the, the drama cycle topic of the, the moment is or, or playing flame wars with somebody and that sort of thing. It gets old very, very fast. And I've also learned in my years of creating videos that have a more adversarial debating type structure to them where it's like here's a video by Venom Fang X okay now I'm going to debunk this person that people expect you to be a sort of intellectual warrior and this this in part goes with pigeonholing but what you you'll be put in a situation where here's a topic what's your opinion okay now somebody else is going to try and argue against you and you're supposed to argue back and forth over this topic where it's really like I don't I don't care that much it's not that I don't have an opinion but I don't care to uh, sit there and try and be the champion for every single opinion that I have and argue against 
a mob of trolls and other people on YouTube that want to argue against me. So I made a couple of videos on, you know, veganism, vegetarianism, and uh, I don't have anything against that as a lifestyle choice, but in terms of the ethics of it, I am by no means convinced of the ethical arguments uh, for veganism and vegetarianism. But if I really wanted to make an issue of it, I would be... I would have no shortage of people trying to argue uh, back against me and, and tell me I'm stupid, tell me I'm evil. Uh, you know, what's his name? Gary made this, you know, cruel time video and you're a sick, sadistic monster because you're not a vegan. And it, it, there's just those people who want to make everything into an argument and constantly expect you to just argue to the death with them, basically. And um, just thinking along the same lines, because it involves the, the same person, like antinatalism. Sure, I have an opinion on that. People have asked me my opinion. But there are enough... There's enough of a herd of trolls on the subject, or, or at least a herd of people that want to make it an issue to fight to the death over, like it's the most important subject one could ever talk about, that uh, I just don't even care to really address the issue. And I'm sure, you know, even listening to this, I'm sure there's, there's going to be at least one person who's like, how dare you not think that that is the most important subject to be discussed in the world? And, and to say, like, look, I have a life outside of this and I don't really care all that much is just, it, no, you're, that's not allowed. That's not allowed when you've been pigeonholed as some sort of intellectual warrior on YouTube. Anytime you're presented with something, you're supposed to give your opinion and then fight to the death with anyone who disagrees with you. And uh, to put it bluntly, fuck that. Fuck that. I really do have better things to do with my time. And in terms of pigeonholing in general, I sort of have this this uh, opposite problems with online and with real life. In real life, I constantly have to tell people that no, I was not a photography major. I've never taken a class in photography. It's not the focus of my life. It's more like a hobby, uh, although I do love photography. But online, it, 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 I'm constantly, constantly pigeonholed as, as the uh, philosophy person. And, uh, you know, I got an email from somebody and, you know, bless their heart, but they were asking if I wanted to be on some sort of blog TV charity show in, in, at a certain slot that was like the philosophy slot because, well, that's my bag, I think is how they put it. And uh, quite frankly, I've reached a point in my life where I... I couldn't care fucking less, really. There are as many classes as I've taken in philosophy, there are still people who have read more about it, who know more about it, and quite frankly, give more of a shit about it. And without going into too much detail about what I think of Western philosophy, I've really reached a point in my life where I think that the, the underlying principles are important and and critical thinking and, and reason and logic I think all of those things are are tremendously important but um, you can shove Kant right up your ass or, or insert you know substitute Kant and insert whatever philosopher or philosophical idea uh, you want to discuss in there like oh, what do you think about you know free will versus determinism I, the sad truth is I took an entire class on free will and I can't I really at this point I can't even be bothered to discuss it because uh, that would make me actually have to to think back and, and and really it's one of those situations where there's no there's no resolution to the question there's there's different sides and different arguments and you're supposed to pick up one of those arguments and defend it like you actually give a fuck and I, I just I really don't care all that much. It's not that I don't... Uh, I, I want to think philosophically in the privacy of my own brain and not have to constantly um, present my opinions to an audience for other people's scrutiny and give other people an opportunity to argue with me. And uh, even with, with uh, atheism, I don't want to be pigeonholed. Yes, I am an atheist. Yes, at you know on command, I could... Uh, discuss the arguments or, or argue back and forth if I felt so inclined but I don't want to be pigeonholed as this sort of 
um, one, tr- you know, one trick pony where this is all I talk about or philosophy. You're the philosophy person. You, you know, this is what you do. People are always trying to, to pigeonhole me and, and people in general. Uh, this is what you do. This is what you're about. This is what we expect you to talk about. And there's nothing more interesting uh, you have to say than that. And if you deviate from that course, then we're just going to tune out and not listen because uh, we want to see the, the epic ponage combat and we want your opinion on every subject and, and to engage in, in ponage campaigns and drama wars and all that happy horse shit. And so given that there's this sort of mob mentality, um, speaking out, just I'll throw out another example, speaking out about Occupy Wall Street, and and a while ago I I went out you know went out on a limb saying that that maybe Dawa films, even though he's a an arrogant prick, might not be uh, as as much of a threat as Thunderfoot was making him out to be at the time when he was getting the FBI involved and that sort of thing in the situation over stupid internet drama. Um, the mob will react against you and so it's a constant battle of I have to appease the mob by talking about the subject of the moment that they want to hear I have to toe the line and be like we are the 99% fuck Wall Street and 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 the government and the bailouts and uh, you know if you have any opinion that deviates from the norm even if it's not truly against popular opinion but just sort of a hey maybe we should just consider this other point of view rather than just towing the line how many people will just like lash out against you and 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 try and troll you or how many people want to to pick an argument that they expect you to fight to the death for when you in fact don't really give that much of a shit so there are a lot of um serious annoyances with dealing with the world of online especially when i've come this far and have given people such ample fodder to pigeonhole me with that um there are more than a few moments where i'm like why am i why am i still doing this so i can just have this this stockpile of videos that uh my future employees will dis or future potential employers will discover and uh render me unemployable uh, as an outspoken internet person, and and fortunately for me, I've mostly managed to avoid any sort of serious drama, and, and really publicly disgracing myself. Because there are there have been a few people who have uh, really uh, publicly disgraced themselves. And uh, Venom Fang X, I couldn't imagine that that kid is going to be employable <laughs> in anywhere outside of evangelism. So his. Uh, uh, but fortunately for him, hey, there's a whole world of of Christian evangelism and preaching and and uh, Jews for Jesus that will you know take them into their fold and uh, give him employment and that sort of thing. Whereas I'm like, okay, uh, how is this benefited? How has all of this benefited me in the long run? I'm still still waiting for the 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 true benefits of what I've done here to materialize, and so. Yeah, I do have to go through uh, moments of self-justification and, and reminding myself of why I should even bother. And other times, I'm just like, hey, I have something I want to talk about. And, oh, okay, I'll make a video, and then I forget about all the bullshit and just let it slide and do my thing. And, um, yeah, I don't know what else relevant I can say about this, and I've probably rambled on for long enough, but I do understand the fact that there are people that watch my videos that aren't the typical fickle bastards and I appreciate what seems to be the ever dwindling portion of my audience that uh, actually is interested in in what I hope is something like thought-provoking discussion and uh, that keeps me going to an extent and as Anubis 24 18 28 14 I think uh, was talking about in this video, I, I recognize the solidarity factor in all of this and helping other people to feel like they're not alone in the world, surrounded by other people that just have beliefs that they strongly disagree with and that sort of thing. 
and I don't really see myself as giving up. Uh, I'm not. I'm not a quitter. I ain't no fucking quitter. I'll put it that way. But I definitely struggle with why the fuck am I doing this? That's the end of my rant for now. See you later, everyone. Until next time when I find some reason to make a video.